we're going to be making high carb Hannah's vegan lentil loaf. So let's get started. Many of you have suggested that I follow along High Carb Hannah with her channel, and I've actually found High Carb Hannah a few years back. I really enjoy her videos, even when I was not actively doing the starch solution. Today, I pulled a recipe off of the High Carb Hannah website, and I'm gonna make it for you right now. Welcome back to another video. My name is Crystal and you're watching Plant Based Joy. If you are on a vegan weight loss journey, you're not alone. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So let's get right down to it and start creating High Carb Hannah's vegan lentil loaf. Now I have all of the ingredients prepped and ready to go, so this should be quick and easy. So here are the ingredients. I have some modifications to the High Carb Hannah's uh, vegan lentil loaf that I'm going to implement today, uh, including I'm not adding the red lentils. I know the red lentils are added in the original recipe to absorb some of the liquid, and I have omitted those. And I'm adding in mushrooms. I have brown lentils with a little garlic. I have my carrots, celery, red pepper, chopped onion, and roughly chopped baby Bella mushrooms. I also have mixed together already the seasoning. So I have one teaspoon of fennel, one teaspoon of thyme, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and since I didn't have the Italian seasoning mix, I did add in a little basil and oregano. Then I have a cup and a half of oats that are already been pulsed and in a flour-like substance. And the flax egg that is ready to go. With all of the ingredients chopped, pulsed, mixed, and ready to go, I'm going to add in our lentils and garlic to about um, three cups of boiling water. We're going to add in our carrots. and our celery. We're gonna add one half of our onion, or, or our whole onion, excuse me, our red pepper. So we'll give that a stir. I am going to add a little bouillon to this. Once this is boiling, I'm going to add the cover and let it simmer. So I'll turn down the heat and let it simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes until most of the liquid is absorbed. About halfway through, I will add in the mushrooms. Hey. Hey. It's <laughs> Hey, <laughs> it's still cooking, but it looks so good. Now that the lentils and the veggies are all cooked down, we are going to mesh them all together. So we're going to start with the oats. And I'll, I'll leave a link to the recipe from High Carb Hannah below so that you can have all of the information. And then the flax egg, we're gonna mix that together along with the seasoning.
Next, we're gonna transfer the lentil mix into the pans and pop them in the oven for about 30 minutes at 350. And then we're gonna add some ketchup on the top. With the ketchup added, we are gonna pop it back in the oven to allow the ketchup to caramelize and then we'll take it out um, to rest. Okay, <clears throat> okay, it's done. And I already tried it. Couldn't wait, like I'm so hungry and I'm excited to eat <laughs> my dinner. So this is how it turned out. With the ketchup i know some people don't particularly care for ketchup but it was actually really good with the ketchup on top it definitely added something now what are my thoughts so first of all the flavor was there like totally there it was so good you didn't have to add anything else to it um the texture was a little mushy. I would like to have the loaf be like firm uh, more than it is. Uh, however, it's delicious. If you have not tried this high carb Hanna vegan lentil loaf, I highly recommend you get in your kitchen and get to cooking because it is delightful. Okay, I've paired it with some mashed potatoes, half a plate of broccoli, and then my lentil loaf. And I'm really going to keep this short because I want to eat this. I'm freaking hungry. Big thanks to High Carb Hannah for putting this recipe out into the world. It is delicious. I can't wait to try a few more recipes on your website. If you would like to give it a try, I'll leave a link to her blog post and her video. If you've tried this recipe, tell me what you think. Anyway, I'm gonna get to eating, so do your best today.